Between Nord and Fjords lies an archipelago called Svalbard. Right above the Arctic Circle here is a safe wall deep under the bowels of an icy mountain where even hell freezes over. There deep inside five strong doors lies a treasure. A treasure not comprising gemstones or precious metals, but a treasure that one day may be able to rekindle human civilization if we might need it. Seeds! Welcome to Weirdly Interesting. And let's dive inside a cold mountain to check out why we are preserving nearly a million varieties of seeds in Svalbard Seed Vault. Planet Saving Seeds The secure facility inside the mountain at Norway may make you mistake it for a very unique kind of bank. According to the staff of the vault, in many ways, Svalbard Seed Vault is a bank, a seed bank. The vault is essentially a huge safety deposit box where people from all over the world are sending one precious commodity, agricultural embryos of hundreds of thousands of kinds of crops. A pure archive of our farming biodiversity for the past 13,000 years, sealed behind huge steel doors. We have prepared this seed vault for about 4.5 million seed samples. Built in 2008 with a cost of nearly 9 million US dollars, Svalbard Seed Vault does not demand any ownership rights over the seeds sent to the facility. In fact, the staff at the vault don't even open the boxes sent by various countries from all over the world, barring the security check for explosives. The depositors retain ownership rights over the seeds sent to the facility. Depositors seal the boxes containing seeds and the facility is not eligible to distribute or give access to them to anyone other than the depositors. Now we are moving from approximately zero degrees into the permafrost section. We have the permafrost here, minus five. In there, it's minus 18. Stored in permafrost for preservation at minus 18 degrees Celsius or negative 0.4 Fahrenheit, the three vaults inside the facility have a combined capacity to store four and a half million seed samples. Furthermore, each sample on average carries nearly 500 seeds. Some simple math tells us that the Svalbard seed vault is capable of storing a maximum of two and a quarter billion seeds at any given time. To become the largest seed collection in the entire world, Svalbard Seed Vault needs to fill only half of the first three vaults. The Vault's Value A cuboid-like wedge of concrete and metal bulges out against the snowy landscape with an eerie name written on it, the Doomsday Vault. This is the entryway to the remote facility where the future of food preservation and sustainability is safeguarded behind strong doors in the permafrost of the mountainous womb. The reason behind selecting this remote, cold place is the permafrost provides perfect conditions for long-term storage. The low temperature and icy moisture ensure low metabolic activity, and thus seeds can be stored for decades or centuries, if not for thousands of years, which is also possible in some cases. The surrounding sandstone is strong enough for high stability and it also keeps radiation in check. Svalbard also scores high marks when it comes to the security of the facility. In fact, Svalbard outperforms other gene banks around the world in this regard. With daily flights to the chain of islands and a local coal supply for mechanical cooling, the infrastructure is going to withstand decades. And even if the mechanical cooling fails, that's where the position of the vault comes into play. Located extraordinarily 120 meters or nearly 400 feet deep into the icy mountain, the natural cold will take care of the deposits even if the external temperature rises in case of severe global warming. The entrance hall inside the cuboid-like structure leads to a small tunnel where visitors are welcomed to loud whirring noises of electricity and cooling systems that keep this facility functional and the temperature of the vaults consistent. The tunnel runs 430 feet down into the mountain to the chamber where an additional security layer separates the vaults containing the seeds. One can feel the hair in their nostrils stiffening by the proper chill in these vaults. Interestingly, the vault has only one more establishment in the neighborhood, another similar repository to record our government's and private institutions' data for future generations. The Arctic World Archive is located deep inside a nearby mine. Our food is dying. Agricultural practices have changed dramatically in the last 50 years. Selective crop production at a large scale became possible due to technological advances. And though we increase crop yields, the cost for that has been the sacrifice of biodiversity. From hundreds of varieties available in the 1930s, we have limited agriculture to a mere 30. That fulfilled 95% of human food energy needs. The USA has lost 90% of its fruit diversity since the 1900s. 
Chinese rice variety has dropped to only one-tenth of how many rice variants they had in the 1950s. This monocultured nature of agriculture leaves food supplies more susceptible to threats such as diseases and drought. The seeds available inside the Svalbard seed vault have a good mix of many wild and discontinued varieties of food crops that nobody grows anymore. In fact, many of these varieties don't even exist outside of the seed collection stored at Svalbard. But the genetic diversity contained in the vault could provide the DNA traits needed to develop new strains for whatever challenges the world or a particular region will face in the future. It is preparing us to combat the changes Earth will go through in the coming time and adapt to it without sacrificing food production. This is particularly important with the challenges of climate change ahead. But Svalbard's main function is to combat small doomsdays rather than the big doomsday that will be a result of a global catastrophe or an apocalypse. Svalbard serves to facilitate much smaller events of localized destruction and threats such as what happened in Syria recently when the gene bank was destroyed in the war. Svalbard is our hope that despite geopolitical stress, humanity can come together and work for healing the world. The storage boxes of North Korea and the USA stored together inside the seed vault do rekindle the hope that we will find unity in diversity. The Secret Contents Interestingly, the vault works mainly on faith. It is commendable that the staff of the vault trust their depositors to abide by the rules of the agreement between the vault and the depositors and not send anything weird, just plant seeds. The plant seeds also have to be 100% natural, which means no modified genes. The agreement also forbids the depositors from storing seeds of plants that are used to create narcotic products. Funnily enough, the vault has received requests of all kinds, with people asking to preserve the weirdest stuff for them. Some men have also requested Svalbard to let them deposit their seed, along with the plant seeds, and justifiably Svalbard's seed vault chooses to not even answer men that are down bad like that. The priority of the vault is to preserve crops that are important for food production and sustainable agriculture. The facility also receives security collections from the international CGIAR collections and certain key national gene banks. The focus of the Svalbard seed vault is on safeguarding as much of the world's exceptional flora's genomic material as possible and avoiding duplication. Tell us in the comments what other things we need to preserve for the future of Earth and humanity. And as always, thanks for watching Weirdly Interesting. Please share and like the video and subscribe and ring the bell to watch more weird but interesting videos in the future.